Hey guys, today I'm gonna do the ancestry test, which is by 23andMe. This tells you about your health and your ancestry. It says right here. It has the instructions on the back. Kind of nervous. This will be a great way for you guys to get to know me. And I'm going to be learning with you guys. And this is, they have two boxes. One is just ancestry. And this is the second one, which is health and ancestry. So what this is, is that it's a saliva test. And you just spit into this tube and you send it off to the the labs i guess where they find out your ancestry and then send it to you through email or something like that oh this is the box that you're gonna send off it already has everything on it to send back and it has my stuff in here so we're gonna spit to the fill line close the funnel detach funnel screw on cap seal in bag and then mail the kit i'm nervous i'm gonna mess this up somehow Here's a little funnel thing that I'll be spinning in. So, so far, you're supposed to fill it to this line. And then I got it to that line. But then there's so many bubbles up here. And you're not supposed to have bubbles. So I'm like, or the saliva needs to be liquid, not bubbles. But they're going to get both. And then it says shut this and then close it slowly until it shuts okay so now we have to take off this part so we're gonna do that you have to unscrew it this is the cap that we're gonna screw on shake the capped tube for five seconds One, two, three, four, five. so here's our bag we're gonna put him in here and then we take off this blue thing. Then we just, it's like a Ziploc bag. You just press on the glue. And now all we gotta do is put it into this box. Yeah, we're good to go. Next time you guys see me, we're gonna be, not today, it's gonna be another day. And then we're gonna check my results of what's my ancestry and my health. Hey guys, I'm back to find out who I really am. And yeah, I probably look a little different right now. I literally like just got my hair done today. I redid my roots and I bleached it two or three days ago. It was on Tuesday. Today's Friday. So three days ago, but we're gonna see what my results are. Let's just look at our ancestry composition because Obviously, that's what I like really want to know like am I full Asian or am I like a mix with something, you know? Dang, okay. I'm Southeast Asian 71% That's dope. Let's see what else. I'm 7.8% Chinese. Wow I'm 0.5% Mancurian Mongolian and Mongolian. Wow I don't know what man Churian is or how you pronounce it but mongolian i never expected that broadly east asian i don't know what that means um i'm 2.3 percent and then i'm 0.5 percent broadly east asian and native american also the reason why i wanted to do this um ancestry stuff was because uh, my mom was adopted and we don't really know who her dad is. We know that her mom is Vietnamese. And my mom is definitely not full Asian. Or she doesn't look like it. She, I don't know. We just don't know what she was. Hopefully these give you the answer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, my, yeah, my mom probably half white because now looking at European, it says 17.4% European. Wow. French and German, I'm 5.6%. Wow, I took French in high school. Um, let's see. Un, deux, trois, quatre. <laughs> I don't know. Well, either way. Eastern European, 2.1%. Iberian, 0.5%. Uh, broadly, Northwestern European, 4.3%. 
broadly southern european 1.0 percent and broadly european is 3.8 percent i don't know what all this broadly means but i guess like generically it would be in these areas of europe and then there's 0.5 percent unassigned wow that's crazy Oh, it even tells me my ancestry timeline. So this tells me like how far back, like in years or generations. Oh, generations. So one to two generations of Southeast Asian Do because I'm Vietnamese, like. And then 4.7 generations ago, Chinese. 4.7 generations ago, French and Germans. And then five to eight generations ago, Eastern European. Five to eight plus generations, there was Iberian. And then Mancurian and Mongolian is five to eight plus generations as well. Wow. But I should have known that I was like part Chinese because the Chinese invaded Vietnam and the French invaded Vietnam. So that makes that makes so much sense. Um French, Chinese, Vietnamese should have known. And let's see what my health is i have 458 dna relatives dang that's a lot genetic health risk late onset on alzheimer's disease let's see oh i do not have the e4 variant that they tested so i don't have alzheimer's disease in me that's good go back and then see if i'm diagnosed with um parkinson's disease zero variants detected so it's probably not likely that i'll get parkinson's disease and that's good a lot of these are not detected so caffeine con consumption likely to consume more you are right because vietnamese people love their cafe soda less likely to be a deep sleeper that's false actually well i guess so and so like i can wake up but I feel like I can sleep through anything. Like if you're playing loud music in the car, I can fall asleep. Lactose intolerance, likely tolerant. I'm tolerant, yeah. Muscle composition common in elite power athletes. That is not true. I am like not athletic. Sleep movement, likely more than average movement. What does that mean? <laughs> times move per hour during sleep, 16 times. The average is 13 times. That's true, I do move around a lot during my sleep it says as traits it says asparagus odor detection likely can smell yes i can smell asparagus odor i guess bitter taste likely i can taste it yes i can cheek dimples likely no dimples that's a lie because i got one right there barely cleft chin likely no cleft chin mm, boy isn't a cleft chin like a butt chin i'm pretty sure i got a butt chin likely brown or hazel eyes yeah I got brown eyes. Likely index finger longer. Than what though? With longer than what though? Oh, likely to have longer index finger than ring finger. That's so true. My index finger is longer than this one. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Freckles, likely little freckling. Yeah, I ain't got no freckles like that. Hair texture, likely straight or wavy yes uh light or dark hair likely dark hair yeah i got dark hair but you know your girl dyed it bleached it so it's light skin pigmentation likely darker skin i'm pretty light skin but i can get dark in the summertime so uh unibrow likely at least a little unibrow no i don't really grow hair there like i never pluck there so i don't know Widow's Peak, likely no Widow's Peak. Yeah, I don't really have one. Have a little like zhuzh, but it's not like serious. I think that's it, guys. That was really interesting. What we learned today was that Kathy Tai Win is super Vietnamese, parts of other Asian, a little bit Spanish, like 0.5%. And I am like, 17 right we said 17 percent european basically i'm gonna go to paris speak some french i need to actually practice on my french because i used to be all right at it but i don't remember anything anymore it was it's been like two to three years since i took french so 
yeah guys thank you for watching like and subscribe if you want and see you in the next video